YouTube is called More Music, and I have an interface feature video for you guys today. I was approached by the company with the spelling of W-R-U-G-S-T-E about taking a look at their two-channel interface that's sub $200. Now, when I saw the price tag, I immediately thought, if anybody is at the entry level or just trying to get something quick into their DAW, songwriters, uh, quick creators, this might be the interface for you. So some quick specs about this unit. This is a two input, two output interface that connects to your computer via USB-C to USB-A. There's also an adapter for the USB-A side if your computer only accepts USB-C inputs. On the front, inputs one and two are combo jacks that accept XLR and TRS cables. On the back of the unit for the condenser side, there's your 48 volt phantom power engage. There's a switch for guitar or line inputs and then there's a gain knob for each respective channel. As far as monitoring is concerned, there is a direct monitoring switch that allows for low latency monitoring of the inputs when it's engaged. There's an output knob that controls the left and right outputs on the back of the unit. And then you have an input for headphones and a corresponding knob. There's something that I think is important to note if you're monitoring yourself during tracking. I like to listen to myself up the middle. However, input one is on the left and input two was on the right when I was using the standard TRS jacks that come with either headphones or IEMs. So to alleviate the problem of my vocals not being straight up the middle, I had to use a TS adapter. And of course that collapsed the whole mix to mono. But then when I was listening back and playback, I just switched to a TRS and everything split to stereo. I've got a vocal example from one of my original tunes that I was using to test out the stock pre's on this interface. Let's check that out right now. Strange are the ways you can feel down inside. But because you're afraid, you know those feelings you try to hide. You sacrifice the simple pleasures you could have with the one you know you want and need so bad. Strange are the ways you can feel down inside But because you're afraid you know those feelings you try to hide You sacrifice the simple pleasures you could have With the one you know you want and need so bad Strange are the ways you can feel down inside But because you're afraid, you know those feelings you try to hide Sacrifice the simple pleasures you could have With the one you know you want and need so bad So I try other things thinking that maybe they will suffice then you arrive in my dreams Man, it's crazy how you're on my mind I'm wondering where we be If I belong to you and you belong to me Then the truth sets in again It should have been you Who was standing by my side It should have been you Who'd make everything alright It should have been you who I gave my heart to And now I'm so confused Cause I need you So I just want to share some limited final thoughts about this unit I know that there are a lot of interfaces on the market in this price point that this piece is in competition with. If you're on a limited budget, less than about $200, if you have a pretty decent condenser microphone that could capture you or the source that you're trying to work on some material with, if you're maybe like a songwriter that's just really quickly trying to get some ideas down, but you don't want to spend a whole lot of money on a setup, this could possibly work for you. So I wouldn't recommend using something like an SM7B or a ribbon mic with this interface because the stock freeze 
only give you 50 dBs of gain, and those are gain-hungry microphones. But again, if you have a pretty solid condenser microphone, or you're on the market looking for a pretty decent condenser microphone, you could pair that with this interface and it'll get you started. When starting is the goal, that's important, and growth will come later with further knowledge of the tools within the craft. I believe that this community should be a community of help. So with that in mind, I need just three things. Number one, subscribe. Number two, like or dislike at your discretion. And then number three, in the comment section, after watching this video, if you feel like this unit will help you get started with your setup, just write down there, I need it, I like it, I could use it. I'll give it about a week's time to select a winner, but I wanna get this piece out to somebody just so they can start their audio journey. As always, like, share, and subscribe because there's definitely more content coming. I appreciate the company for sponsoring this video. Also, if you wanna hear the full length version of the song featured today, check out the description section here on YouTube or head on over to any one of your major digital platforms and look up Carl Moore Music. I appreciate you guys for spending this time with me and let's go make some music. I like making music.